Twisted creatures! Can I get you a ladder? What do you wish of me? If you must. I was not born such. Tis a skill of Flemeth's, taught over many years in the wilds. The chastened have tales of we witches, saying that we assume the forms of creatures to watch them from hiding. When a child is alone and separate from his tribe, that is when we strike, dragging the young boy kicking and screaming to our lair to be devoured. A most amusing legend. Changing her form, certainly. Devouring lost children, I cannot say. She has not done it in my experience, though in truth my lifespan is but a fraction of her own. Why do you ask? Is there something specific you wish to know?
anyone with sufficient will. But the act of transformation is a magical one. It is a spell and thus requires a major's talents. If you had a notion to learn such a skill for yourself, sadly, you must remain disappointed. Indeed. Have you an opinion on my abilities, then? Am I an unnatural abomination to be put to the torch? I wouldn't advise it. But enough of such talk. Let us proceed, lest the dust gather on us. This is what matters to so many? The wild places did not mark his fall. A lesson in examining your allies far more carefully than your enemies.
I see an our time award. How are we supposed to live like this? I have fires waiting. At the maker, my brother and his family made it out of Lothering. He said that the dogs were attacked. I understand the swamp witch is out to slay its own mother. In oh, you wish to talk to me? Truly, it's a courtesy for one so well-armed to notice a lonely merchant. It's not your business, but like my father, I was born on the surface. We never had a cast to live. The assembly says we've turned our back on the stone, but they still use the goods we bring. Hip, Chris. Maybe it'll change by the time my children are grown. Twice a year, I'm confined to a trade stall in the commons, but I see enough. It's very closed in. My grandfather says I've lost my stone sense. I was born topside. I don't remember having it. Best of luck to you. I demand an order. King Logan. Vieta. This land is held in trust for the sovereign dwarven kings. I cannot allow entry at this time. King Loghain demands the allegiance of the Desher, or Lords, or whatever you call them in your assembly. I am his appointed messenger. I don't care if you're the King's Wiper. Orzammar will have none but its own until our throne is settled. Any dwarf who chooses to walk topside chooses to be excluded. You better not let some piss ant in after refusing Loghain's messenger. Wait, look at me. You're the brand who dishonored the Proving! Trust you to be ignorant of our tragedy. Orzammar has no king. Endrin Idu can return to the stone not three weeks ago, sick over the loss of his sons. The Assembly has gone through a dozen votes without agreeing on a successor. If it is not settled soon, we risk a civil war. Wardens killed King Caelan and nearly doomed Ferelden. They're sworn enemies of King Loghain. Well, that is the royal seal. That means only the Assembly is authorized to address it. Grey Warden, you may pass. You're letting in a traitor? And what was that you said? A filthy brand? In the name of King Loghain, I demand that you execute this stain on the honor of Ferelden. You... Your bluster won't work on me. I'm a messenger of King Loghain. Kill each other as you will, but take your sodding fight off my doorstep. Twould seem we are not alone. You've done me a service. That fool Imrek was barking for a week. Are all humans so touched? You are free to enter Orzammar, Grey Warden. Though I don't know what help you will find. A 
Trost Valo, Warden. Is it just your me, or do all these blessing? statues look alike? Your return is not fair journeys, Warden. Now that's a thing of beauty, daughter. If you work hard like Branca, all Orzammar will know your name. Show some pity for a poor old man. I do not understand what a golem is. Why would anyone create such a being? Why would one create a sword? It is the Assembly who makes a king, and a king who nominates his successor. None of it is carried in the blood. Or, as now, when someone tries using the Assembly to pull a coup. Who's to say what my father said in his final hours, when the usurper Harrowmont was the only one by his side? I'll have you thrown in prison. You've bitten off more than you can chew! Handlers, separate these dashers in the Diamond Quarter. I will not have Balin incite a riot. Not speak that way about the man who should be king! Did you have an offering for the Ancestors? I can move aside. I don't have much to bring them. My name is Vilda, widow of Turok of the Smith Cast. I pray here every day for my son, Ruck. I only wish I knew whether I should be asking for his safe return or for the Ancestors to accept his soul. It was five years ago. He was only a youngster. He joined a Deep Roads excursion, the only smith to go with the warriors to repair their arms. He was so proud, but he got separated somehow. When they came home, he wasn't with them. How? There is no way except to brave the Deep Roads yourself. A warden? So you could do it. Only wardens face the Deep Roads without a company backing them. Oh, thank you. The ancestors finally heed my prayers. Please, find me as soon as you return. Welcome to Jan our family armors. I, uh, assume you have some kind of dispensation to let you wear all that. Many apologies. I had to ask. So, what can I help you with? Of course. Uh, keep in mind, we also take items on trade. Maker's blessing on you, brother. 
The Maker brought forth this world and every creature in it. He chose a human woman as his prophet and bride, but he loves all races. I'm Brother Burkle of the Red Cliff Chantry, returned to my ancestors' land to spread the chant of light. Even in the very bowels of the earth, we hear no end of this chant. And that is something to rejoice in, good sister. I'm petitioning to open a chantry in Orzammar. I... Oh, never mind. The Shaper of Memories has refused me so far. I thought perhaps with another advocate... Well, if you have a change of heart, let me know. Maker's Blood, I never expected to see you back. Is there something you seek? I can see the Maker's hand on your shoulder, guiding you always. Please, let me know as soon as you've heard anything. Touch anything or see. I told him I don't understand why the provings aren't open to everyone. I mean, it's how the ancestors show their favor. Do they really need our help? To sign They're everywhere. I can't. What? Get away. You'll change like the rest. Monsters hidden in all my friends. There's things older than Darkspawn. And once you're in the story. They find you. See? I found copies. All from the same pen, and older than the ones in song. Dormant my ass. Take them. I want out! I won't disappear chasing a lie. I won't! Lord Denik Helmy. Honored Desher of the Orzammar Assembly, and terrible disappointment to my esteemed mother, who doesn't like me spending time in taverns. So I'm curious. You've been living on the surface, right? Does it function any worse than Orzammar for having abolished caste? You don't get far as the youngest and most outspoken member of the Assembly, without keeping an ear to the stone. I heard there was a Grey Warden in town, and the only dwarf to join in years was the Castless who won the Proving. Very good. I guess someone already told you I was good for nothing, drinking my life away at Tapsters. Or did they leave off a greatest shame to ever fall upon the Assembly? i am always liked that one. You know, most smiths and tavern keeps would make Decent deshers if we gave them a chance and a seat in the assembly. Or Zamara so mired in tradition no one bothers asking if the casts are even necessary. Me and 79 other fine, upstanding examples of how someone who's born into every privilege inevitably wants more. They're not fond of my views on equality. I doubt either candidate has been outside the diamond quarter in his life. But Lord Harrimont seems a bit more forgiving. Prince Balin's brilliant, I'll give him that, and subtle as sin. But I don't think anything in Orzammar matters more to him than winning. The Assembly passed laws prohibiting the castless from holding any job a legitimate citizen can do. Of course they turn to crime. What else can they do? As you wish. <laughs> Didn't know Cora was letting him brand. You think anyone in Tapsters will let you lay a hand on me, Brand? Now sod off. Mine's standing a little down.
look like any guardsman I ever saw, and that's not much of a uniform. Then shouldn't you be off killing genlocks, or at least sweeping through the diamond quarter to carry off someone's firstborn? And bring the guardsman running? Thanks, but I was just leaving. What are you looking for? We got nothing to buy for the likes of you. Or maybe you wanted to sell. Well, our business is kind of covert, if you know what I mean. It's illegal in Orzammar for me to engage in protected trade, but they look the other way if I share things with my friends. For money. Why don't you take a look? Going to spare, my lord? It's for my son. He's sick. He hasn't any clean clothes to wear or anything to eat today. Neither have I. Thank you. That a stranger would care so much when my own family barred me from their halls unless I'm willing to. But no! I can't bear to even think of it! My son's father is castless, as is he. I used to be a miner, but my parents stripped my caste and refused to accept me back. Unless I agree to abandon the child in the deep roads and pretend I never bore him. Y you would do that? But why? Then I cannot offer enough gratitude. But I warn you, my father is a stiff-necked man. His name is Ordell, and he's usually at Tapster's in the evening. I do not think he will listen to you. But I will wait anxiously to see if you can do what you promise. I don't share drinks with Castlers. Don't start something you can't finish, Brand. I don't share drinks with Castlers. Oh, I'm the monster, not the Castless wretch that filled my daughter with his brat. 
I've got a family and a reputation to protect. I'm not letting one stupid girl drag us all down. She knows what she has to do to come home. She's always been welcome, just not the brat. So tell her that, and don't ever tell me what to do with my family. I'm not talking about my private business with the likes of you. A brand in the commons. An outfitted like a topsider, no less. Good. Let people see castless have a purpose. The more cracks in the old way, the better. That's what Balin stands for. I'll take your gold. You're good for that. Vieta, I have enough crime without some castless carrying weapons in the city. Your actions risk pain of death. Name yourself. Warden. Pfft. You? When I heard they accepted a brand, I thought it was a joke. Surfacers and their cloud-addled heads. Fine, oh illustrious Grey Warden. What do you want? Surface problems. Well, we have no king to hear you. You can join the shouting at the assembly in the Diamond Quarter if you want. Bunch of Desher lords bickering over sand. Balin, Harrowmont. Is one so different? No paragons here. They've caged themselves for fear of each other. As you've seen, keeping order down among us working people is dodgy. No place for a proper lord. Balin speaks through his second, Vartag Gavorn, in the assembly. Lord Harrowmont speaks through Doolin Ferender from his estate. Yes, you should. I actually was talking to your companions, or are you from the surface too? Oh, wonderful! I've been trying forever to find someone who really knows the surface world. I, I don't suppose you've heard of something called the Circle? I've been trying to reach someone there for years. I've sent missives with every caravan, but I never get a reply. I want to know if they would accept me for study. 
That would be wonderful. My name is Dagna, daughter of Janar of the Smithcast. Tell them I've already begun reading the Taventer Imperiums for Tikum Kadab, and it's just fascinating. Did you know the Imperial Magister Lords once had genealogies of every human family known to produce a mage child? <gasps> oh, I'll go pack my bags right now. I'll be waiting by my father's shop. Greetings, and welcome to Garen Garrison's Luxury Goods Shop. Wow, there are a lot of you. And I've never seen one of those before. The things they come up with. What was I saying? Right. I have some lovely things here. Lilium. Enhanced, of course. I can't believe it. I heard a dwarf and Grey Warden came to Orzammar and I couldn't help but hope. Look at you. My little brother, the returning hero. And with quite the unusual entourage. Can you imagine? As of last month, I'm a royal concubine to House Idukin. They've moved Mother and me into the palace. You could fit our whole neighborhood just in the bathing room. I wish you could meet little Endrin, but they don't let me bring him outside the royal nursery. Why? What's wrong? All the news from the surface says terrible things are happening. Darkspawn attacks and a civil war among the humans. Ancestors save us. I was afraid you'd say that. I hate this. Until there's a king, the Assembly would let the world collapse rather than bow to anyone's better judgment. But I'm Balin's concubine now. I know his chief lieutenant, Vartag Gavorn. He can help you if anyone can. He may be suspicious at first. Don't take it personally. It's been so hard to tell who's against us. Rika, I'm at the Assembly. This is no place for a woman. What do you mean by this? Vartag, this is my brother. He comes on behalf of the Grey Wardens, with dreadful news. Of course, I wasn't thinking. It would be hard not to notice the Grey Warden and his... eclectic entourage. I hear you seek the aid of Orzammar's finest. Yes, the treaty. I've seen it in the Shaper's libraries. Now the difficulty is that the treaty only compels our king, and we are sadly lacking one of those right now. My prince is the rightful king, but a disappointing number of lords back the upstart Haramond for the throne. If you show your support for Prince Balin, he might be able to assist with your requests. Haramond promised the same portion of his estate to two different Deshers, Lady Dace and Lord Helmy. Haramond can't possibly grant it to both of them. But they won't find out until after the vote is cast. I have copies of the promissory notes Haramond gave each of them. Once they see those, they should both reconsider their votes. Lady Dace doesn't leave the quarter much. But Lord Helmy's adventurous, likes to spend his time at Tapsters in the Commons. Remember, don't tell them you got these papers from me. You learned of them and drew your own conclusions. The assembly is in session. Enter quietly if you wish to observe. Your mind has gone to dust if you think we would pass such a writ. Half our houses would go broke without the surface trade. The proposal is only effective until we have a king to ensure we are respected by the surfacers. Leaving you conveniently positioned to take over all contracts. I'll see your head on a pike first. Deshers, lords and ladies of the assembly. I've already doubled the guard to prevent violence. Must I summon more? 
Steward Bandalore, Balin's sympathizers are tying our hands with trivialities. They may as well open us to the sky. I suggest we put the matter to a vote. And I suggest you have a taste of my family's mace. Enough. The assembly is in recess until the members can regain control of their emotions. Stone forsaken fools and dusters. I'm sorry. This is the assembly of the clans. Only dashers and occasional guests of state are allowed in. Oh, Stone. You must be the Grey Warden. I completely forgot about the Gate Guard's message. Welcome back to Orzammar, Warden. A great deal has changed in recent days. Respect for your role is great, but you won't receive a proper hearing until we have a king on the throne. Troubling, but it will still seem distant compared to the empty throne. The assembly is blind to all else. This is their world, and it ended when Endrin died. I must admit, Warden, I am at a loss myself. It lies with Prince Balin or Lord Harrowmont, and they are slow to trust anyone in these uncertain times. I only wish there was more I could do for you. I heard there was a Grey Warden here. I am Doolin Ferender, second to Lord Harrowmont, King Endrin's own choice as successor. Word is spreading that the surface may suffer a blight, it is shameful we are not in a better position to help. The king may recommend any successor he chooses. Lord Harriman was chosen after Balin was implicated in his own brother's death. Better a trusted advisor lead us than a scheming child. Balin's claim to the throne is based on nothing but his own pride. No, I wouldn't imagine you do. Take from Warden, I'm outraged. A thief in the Shaperet. What have we been reduced to? I did. He was bald, with the most garish brand across his head. Almost like he took pride in being castless. Imagine. No offense, Warden. Ah, he's probably in the slum somewhere. As if he'd find a buyer for a stolen tome in Dust Town. They couldn't know the value. Were you looking for a particular volume? Not that I could really help. I, um, don't know the libraries very well. I'm just doing some research. I was looking for something about the Orton Taig. It was lost during the Last Blight, and there aren't many records left. They were a noble house once, descended from the Paragon Orton, 
who composed the grand epic of the Seven Brothers and the Ortonic Symphony. My mother's family believes they were descended from Kalana Orton, who was training in Orzammar when the Taig fell. I'm even named for the house, Orta. Unfortunately, any records would be buried in the Taig's ruins, somewhere in the deep roads. A Grey Warden? Mother always said that if anyone could find the Taig, it was the Wardens. I hear Prince Balin and Lord Harrimont have both been sending out small teams these days. Yes, if you can find the Taig in any records, that could do it. That could prove I'm a noble. If you could, maybe now that you're looking, it's almost too much to hope. When I last walked this hall, Endrin was king and Orzammar was at peace. The memories often speak of the swiftness with which change overtakes us. But it is different to see it firsthand. I apologize, Warden. I should not burden a stranger with such thoughts. I am Zebor, the Shaper of Memories. The Grey Warden's visit has been recorded in the memories, along with all who accompany you. That is an odd request. Have you grown so fond of the surfacer's ways in your brief absence? I thought so. This is not the first time he's made this plea. My answer to Brother Burkel hasn't changed. So I ask you the same. On what basis would you have me insult the ancestors and overturn two thousand years of tradition? Brother Burkle said as much, but Orzammar is more than capable of caring for its own. If you are trying to threaten Orzammar from inside its own walls, you are sadly lacking in any understanding of tactics. Wherever this chantry has spread among humans, it replaced all beliefs preceding it. Were we to let these preachers into Orzammar, how long before the ancestors stop hearing the voices praising them? So far, the world has done quite well without your Maker. I am in no hurry to change that. Now, if there's nothing else... You are an outsider, Warden. But not outside the law. I hope you will not do anything to challenge the stability of Orzammar. I'll get on it. Ah, you return, Warden. Is there more you would know from Orzammar's memories? These are Harrowmont lands promised here. But these are not the deals we approved at the Shaperit. Where did you get these? If you wish, you can make your words as false as the documents you bear. You are an outsider, Warden, but not outside the law. I hope you will not do anything to challenge the stability of Orzammar. Ah, you return, Warden. Is there more you ask?
and I shall do my best to answer. Your presence has been recorded in the memory. Lord Balin's impending marriage to a castleless What do you want? Are you one of those tiresome noble hunters? Neither my sons nor I are interested. Ah, such a noble profession. Cleaning up whatever dark spawn stragglers make it to the surface. You must be very proud. Well, this isn't exactly a surface broadsheet. Where did you get these? Never mind. It is true enough, but there's nothing I can do about it. This deal was made on behalf of our entire house. Only my father can revoke it. He is leading a deep roads expedition, trying to secure an ancient Taig. It's unlikely he'll be back before the election, but perhaps this vote is important enough for you to brave the tunnels to tell him? The Dace family would be in your debt. Thank you. He was searching an old Iduken site. He left me with this map, in case his expedition never returned. I'll give you a pass as well. Usually, no one is allowed past the front lines. But luck. Three warden arrives in Borzimar, undoubtedly to offer assistance to Lord Aramon. A higher class of midget lives here, I'll wager. You have come at a difficult time. Two years tomorrow. By all the holy sodding ancestors, how can you people just ignore that? Sorry, but I cannot allow you past the front lines without Adesha's permission. And I've heard nothing of any new patrols scheduled to leave today. I see you have his daughter's seal, so I will not stop you. But be careful. Just because the beasts have pulled back from Ozamar doesn't mean there are any fewer in the deep roads. Either we finally have the edge, which I doubt, or the beasts are building up numbers for the next attack. Best of luck.
dark spawn disgusting. Twisted creatures!
I will defend myself. No. That's the last of them. I am great. No. All right. Hold us from a tight spot, friend. You have my gratitude. I am Lord Anwar Dace. I heard nothing of another expedition. What brings you here so fortuitously? I don't understand. What could... These are the terms of a deal we made with Lord Harriman, but... The charlatan. He's promised the exact same land to hell me. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. I owe you twice now. My life and my house's fortune. I should not discuss such things, but it is definitely troubling. I don't think I could in good conscience support such a man. I must return now. My men need healing and I want to look into this. Do you wish to travel with us? Be careful then. There are more dangerous things than deep stalkers down here.
I wasn't expecting you back. I guess you realize this is about the only fun in Orzammar? Oh, well, I'd ask for proof, or why you care, but frankly, I'm so tired of it I'm not even surprised anymore. I don't even want the land, but my house would kill me if I turned it down. Responsibilities, you know. Now I'll have to go through the whole process of rejecting the deal. We'll both have to try something else. And I thought it was going to be a nice day. I actually thought he was the better candidate. You must think I'm pretty sorry naive, huh? They're all the same. Well-dressed, blood-sucking cave ticks. I'll have to inform Mother that Lord Harrowmont hasn't bought our vote after all. What do you want? Uh, I know who you are. That castless whelp who ran off to become a warden. Someone saw you talking to Vartag of Orn, and now it's all over that you've been doing dirty errands for Balin. I figured you'd be the one, you know, who could help me find Branca. But I guess you're just like all the rest. Branca's a paragon. Only one smart enough to be raised in the last four generations. She's a smith. Invented some kind of new coal that burns clean. It's been two years since she disappeared down the deep roads, and your boss never gave her a thought. I wonder, what does he think he can get from her now? I know he's been poking around, trying to find things out about her, what she was looking for. Won't tell me spit, though. He wants it for himself, right? A little blessing from the ancient's technology, and he's assured the throne. Is that it? Too little, too late. But it's a nice gesture, Warden. If you think your boot test will get you an in I don't have, you're welcome to try this. <laughs> I know both Harrowmont and Balin have been asking about her. Two years without a peep, and suddenly now they want to start looking. If you find out what they know, it might just put me a step closer to finding her. Or sit here and have a drink. It's all the bleeding same to me. Barkeep! You're the Grey Warden, aren't you? Mind standing a little down. Can you believe it? Algren's barely even warrior cast anymore, and he just clomps in here like he's entitled. Did you see any guardsmen? Tell them Algren was at it again. You have come at a difficult time. News of the hour! Is Lord Balin considering the solution of the ancient land? The Legion of the Dead Warriors secretly wear Prince Balin's colors. Our prince has Orzammar's deadliest warriors behind him.
Well, I hear there were a few angry messengers sent to the Haramont estate a moment ago. Your new brother will be pleased to welcome you into his house. Are you ready to meet Balin now? I warn you, be on your best behavior, and keep your weapons sheathed. Welcome to your new house, little brother. My Rika tells me you worked yourself all the way up from Dust Town to the Grey Wardens. Vartag says you've been a great help in my campaign to regain the throne. Then we have a common goal. We may not like each other, but the Blight is our first priority. We need absolute unity to fight against the fulcrum of true evil. Then you have forgotten your training. The Warden's first principle is the Darkspawn must be defeated at all costs. I cannot send you the troops you need while this senseless debate tears Orzammar apart. You've seen for yourself, the city is a slaughterhouse. Criminals run lawless. I could never hold the throne if I allowed such chaos. Jarvia and Herkarta are behind this bedlam. If you can eliminate them, I promise as king, I will send as many troops as you need to fight the Darkspawn. I would offer to help, but I imagine you know Dust Town far better than I do. And I will wait eagerly for your return. Well, look at you all fancied up. Did the prince decide he likes boys? Or did you find some other way to bring in coin? Why would I miss you? What'd you ever do but make me fat and old and ugly? Running off to the surface just like your father. Never thought to share a little of that fortune with your mother. <laughs> you know what? They keep up here? They got wine from the surface. Ale, brandy. They got a whole room of it. And nobody's gonna stop me taking it because I'm the brat's grandmother. You think I don't got the right to be happy? You think I don't deserve what everyone else has? You think you deserve them fancy clothes? You're never gonna be nothing but dust town. Just like me. We have more in common than I thought. Please be quiet. My patient needs a rest. Fools and their politics. The poison was probably imported as a king killer, and she got dosed by mistake. I've never seen anything this potent. It's a very strange toxin. I know there's a counter, but the ingredients are so rare, it just doesn't matter. If you can chase these things down, I'll thank you, but I won't get my hopes up. The stone will take her soon.
see enemies ahead, wicked. I'll get up. Good on you, Warden. You caught them in the act. I guess desperate times drive people to strange things. of the hour, Lord Phelan, endorsed by the Grey Warden. Orzammar questions Lord Phelan's ability to win the throne without Grey Warden assistance. Well, well, well. The Brand Warden comes home. What do you think you'll find down here? Open arms? Is that so? What makes you think anyone here would turn me, I mean, this person in? You've walked into a sodding fight, Warden, and I've already passed your stupid tome along. Too bad for you. Be wary. <laughs> Chew me up and swallow me whole. I never thought I'd see you back here. What happened, Duster? You miss getting spit on? And don't you sound all proper and fancy-like. Is that to match the new steel? So what are you doing here? Not crawling back to die in the deep roads yet, right? Bad idea, my friend. You know she and Barat were lovers, she still blames us for his death. I've been staying out of sight since you left, but I'm sure she's heard you're back in town. What do you want her for? Stone, no. You think Jarvie would give me a hug and a kiss for taking down her lover? We even talked about taking over when he was gone. You think she can't smell that? So, seriously, Duster, why are you here? Look, she'd kill me if she knew I know this. But after Balin took Rika up city, the Carta laid claim to your old home. They put a back entrance in. It just goes to some storage tunnels, but there's probably a way into Barat's old estate from there. Now I better get out of here before anyone sees us together, but uh, tell me how it turns out.
you're back. You got more business for me? Best way to find it is stand on any street corner in Orzammar and insult Jarvia's mother. You'll wind up there quick enough and have a real long time to get to know the place. Her base goes everywhere in Orzammar. You cross her or even talk bad, your bones end up in the lava. Could be if 30 silver came my way, I might know a bit. That's what I thought. Well, look at that. It's not often old Nadezda sees a fine-dressed stranger here in Dust Town. Help a poor cripple. Well, I'll be a drunken nug. You're Rika's little brother. You used to work for Barat before you jaunted off to be a Grey Warden. What in the dust are you doing here? Jarvi has been real shrewd. Some of the men thought Barat made a bad choice in her, but they're all feeding the lava. She killed a few of Barat's relatives topside, got them in line, and the goods have been fast and steady since. Aye, I did some soldiering for Barat, until some new commissioned guardsmen decided to teach some brands a lesson. Broke both my knees, then made me kneel in dung for an hour until I passed out from the pain. Never mended right. Barat tossed me on the street since I had no more use. Pretty much how my mam told me I'd end up. Ah, and look what happened to you. Shows what mothers know. You, uh, look like you've done well. You sure you can't spare a little more? There, but for the grace of the ancestors, you know. I'll think of you when I go to bed with a full stomach. Well, look what we have here. Jarvia said you were looking for trouble. Congratulations. You found it. Something. Don't kill me! Uh, sorry, ancestors! What do they teach you on the surface? Uh, you fight like a bleeding archdemon. I was just doing what Lasky asked. Said Jarvia gave the word to make sure you never left. No! Jarvia will kill me if I tell you. I, I might as well die fighting. What's the password?
Looks like we have a martyr, boys. An enemy lies against them all. Oh. Lies ahead. <laughs> 